All right. Hello, guys. Uh, welcome to another YouTube AMA with Newton School. I hope I'm visible to all of you. Let me just confirm it once. All right. So, guys, uh, welcome to another YouTube AMA with Newton School. Today we have uh, Tarun with us, who has had a very great journey from being an HR to now working as a software developer. We would be now uh, hearing from Tarun how he has, you know, achieved such great trajectory. We would be uh, asking few questions that I know you must have that how can an HR become a software developer. So let's hear it from Tarun. Tarun, please say hi to the viewers. Yeah, hi. And hi so, once again. Yeah. Tarun, uh, there are a lot of questions that students might be having from you. Let's uh, start asking you that. So uh, where are you currently working, Tarun, and how is the work here? Yeah. Okay, so are. right now, uh, right now I am in Gurugaon, uh, you know, Gurugram in Haryana, which is close to Delhi. And I am right now working in a Amiza in Amiza company, which is uh, whose product is based on logistic and shipment companies. So this is basically a product based company, you can say. So uh, when did you start working there? Yeah, it's been almost two to three weeks since I joined. Uh, I think if I t tell you exactly, it's around 10th October. Uh, I joined Amiza and I, uh, you know, relocate to this city. And how is the work here? You're, uh, you're liking the work? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, in the beginning, of course, uh, you you don't get a lot of work, you know, from the company side because company already have a very big code base. So you have you uh, company give you a little bit of time to understand the code and everything else. So of course, it is. Uh, I am going chill right now. <laughs> uh, it's uh, very. It's looking good actually. Of course, in the start, I mean, right now you have just got a job. You would be enjoying everything. When, so uh, when did you get placed and uh, how far was the date that you joined? Yeah, actually, uh, I I got the news of my placement. I, I mean, I got an offer letter around 7 to 8. And in mm -hmm. 2 to 3 days, uh, I need to join, uh, I think. Uh, so in the 3 days, I joined in the Gurugram. All right. Okay, so uh, Tarun, let's talk about your educational background a bit. Uh, which course did you pursue in your graduation? Right, so uh, if I talk about my graduation, I have done my graduation actually from biology and geology. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Because at that time I was, you know, in the biology kind of domain. I have completed my 12th actually in the biology. So, I mean, you know, in the science, there are two streams. There are math mm -hmm. science and there is a biology, geology, you know. So uh, I have completed my bachelor's in biology, but after that, uh, I come to the computer science. Then I, I, I completed my master's in computer science then. And uh, after that, I was looking somewhere to uh, enter the development, uh, you know, web development industry. So mm -hmm. I found Newton School and I joined it. So before, uh, like before you thought that you should pursue masters in computer science, you were from a completely different domain. First of all, before talking about Newton School, let's first understand what made you uh, like go for masters in computer science when you've done, you know, biology in uh, gra uh, in your graduation years. Yeah. Well, uh, during the time I have completed my graduates and I was looking for some good opportunity, I had uh, a couple of friends who were in the coding and actually who were, uh, you know, learning different languages. So uh, they 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 uh, they live close to my house. So I was, you know, I normally talk to them about uh, what what kind of uh, thing they are learning right now and what what. For, for what career they are choosing right now and what career they are opting for. So during that time, I, I, I realized that, yeah, uh, this is one of the stream where you can have a good future. So I then, you know, uh, uh, turned to this uh, stream and this uh, this course also. And I, I went for the computer science background then in master's. All right. So before com computer science, do you have any experience? Like, uh, are you a, have you been a working professional before? No, I have. Uh, uh, I have done a do job of teaching before in a private coaching classes. But other than that, I don't have any other uh, working experience before the masters. Actually, yeah, I have done during the masters. I have done job as a HR, as I have mentioned. 
uh, mm-hmm. in a startup company called Vira, where uh, I think it, it was a freelancing platform and it was a good experience, mm-hmm. SIHR also. All right. So do you miss being an HR right now? <laughs> or you, you're, you're <laughs> really liking the software developer role? Well, of course, see, uh, in the HR field, of course, uh, there is there is a lot of hardship. I, I respect HR a lot uh, because <laughs> I have gone through those three months because, you know, talking to so many people, convincing so many people, it's not an easy job at all. So, of course, uh, of course, I like my current job more than compared to the HR, but I respect the HR job also. So since you have been an HR, so uh, when you were interviewing for the company and the, when the HR asked you the questions, it must have been easy for you because, you know, you were an HR yourself. So you know what's the uh, mindset of an HR. Did that help? Yeah, definitely. I think when I see from my perspective, I, I can, you know, imagine what kind of question they could ask to me. Because uh, yeah. uh, if I remember correctly, I also, you know, taken prelim- preliminary interviews of the candidate. Mm-hmm. You know who were looking for some companies or some freelancing work in the technical background. So mm-hmm. I uh, because you know HR are not from the technical background. So I know what kind of question they could ask. Of course, in the technical round that will be different. But in the HR round, I can predict what kind of question they can ask. Right, of course. So uh, let's talk about your journey at Newton School, your learning experience. So first of all, let's start from. Uh, we will take it step by step with uh, with every cohort. Okay. So uh, first question that I would ask is, uh, how did you get to know about Newton School at first? Do you did you watch any video ad or any of your friends suggested? How did you get to? Know? Yeah, well, you can say uh, one of my friend actually suggested it uh, after my, my you know after I completed my masters. Uh, I was looking for, you know, joining uh, web development. Uh, I was looking for joining a company, but uh, I have given some couple of interviews also, but of course I was lacking in the skills, uh, like uh, uh, DSA skills, or you can say all these uh, web development fundamentals were not very clear to me at that time. So I was not able to clear the interview. So then, uh, of course, I have some friends who, who went through Newton school before also. So, uh, you know, uh, through them, I got connected and I, I then joined the Newton School after that. Of course. So, yeah. Uh, next question that I would ask is, uh, like you said, that your friend suggested uh, about Newton School. So, since you were already doing Masters in Computer Science, do you feel that even if an individual is doing Masters in Computer Science, uh, in today's uh, day and age, he still has to have lack that skills that Newton school is providing and is Newton school giving that practical experience that colleges are not giving? Yeah, I think uh, because uh, I, I definitely come from a, a three tier city, right? So mm-hmm. the college is from also, uh, also a th- you can call a three tier college. And of course the practical knowledge was not as thorough as uh, it should be for clearing an interview. So whenever I got asked from the uh, I ask, you know, technical questions regarding language, regarding logical reasoning or regarding general uh, basic fundamental skills of the programming, uh, it was hard for me to cover that area in the college because uh, it, the knowledge was not very thorough. So I think, yeah, Newton School uh, has provided me with that kind of knowledge that I can face any kind of interview in the you know technical sense, you can say. Mm-hmm. Of course. So, um, how was the experience like before, after giving the first exam, which is the first entrance exam uh, that I recall? After that, how was the like strategy like? How did you start preparing for? You know, what was your schedule like on a day-to-day basis? Uh, so, you are talking about the entrance exam. Uh, okay. So you after entrance, the entrance exam, exam? Also in the course. Okay, okay, I, okay. In the course, actually, uh, for the first month of the course, I was also doing the job as a HR also. So uh, I was learning in the Newton School as a part time because uh, I, uh, you know, at that time I was not sure what I was doing. Yeah. But uh, after one month, I realized, yeah, I can do coding very, you know, precisely if I continue to do so. So I le- left my job and I start focusing on coding uh, totally in whole day. So, uh, of course, uh, when Newton School scores start, uh, you start from the DSA, which should be, uh, which which is the backbone of the programming, you can say. So, mm-hmm. first of all, I started learn Java, which, uh, uh, and after that, DSA, uh, which is data structure and algorithm, which is, uh, which is very, uh, you know, necessary for the programming skill. 
so it's like uh, uh, there are three hour uh, two uh, two hour class in the evening and one hour mentor session of uh, two times per week right and other than that uh, five to six hour there are uh, you know assignments from the newton school side yeah. and there are uh, say some other sessions also if you want so i think five to six hour self study and three hour uh, the instructor session are good enough for you know good, watch good enough all right all right so uh, and how uh, were the mock interviews helpful for you Do, did you find that your communication skills have improved because of mock uh, like giving a lot of mock interviews or your just an experience technical knowledge as a whole did it help yeah definitely actually i have given a lot of mock interviews if you say if you see my profile i mean you will have the access so in the mock interview i have you know talk to people from the very very different background some are working in the startup some are from the multinational company some are in the very senior position in different companies so mm-hmm. i in the mock interviews uh, these kind of people have you know taken my mock interview they ask me different kind of questions from different kind of tech stacks so of course it helped me a lot uh, of course in the communication skill also uh, it uh, uh, it helped me a lot it is smoothen my communication skill a lot i am able to talk uh, during the real interview freely because of those things right and which profile again uh, are you currently working at is it front end back end or full stack yeah it's a full stack actually because uh, a lot of people who are coming who come from non tech background they believe that full stack is too hard to crack they won't be able to do it or coming from a non tech background in general do you believe they won't be able to get uh, they won't be able to you know get a job after newton school what would you tell to these audience well i think if you work hard enough uh, you can uh, definitely you know crack any companies and uh, you can go for very long thing i mean uh you can be a developer if you work hard enough and if you be disciplined about it and you can definitely do it i mean any anyone can do it if he give everything he have exactly so hard work and perseverance is the key here for sure right right and uh, how about now are you still connected to any of your friends from newton school what are your yeah, like celebrating actually. plans like yeah definitely i am connected with the, some of the friends in the newton school i actually even connected with the mentors also so i have gone through you know couple of mentors in the newton uh, in the journey of the newton school or in that time i have connected to different mentors who are who were working in the different companies so even i got the job right now i still connected with them through different platforms like linkedin uh, where we uh, uh, you know we uh, message each other on a lot of occasions and if i have some problem i can ask them also Right. And are you a part of the alumni community of Newton School currently? Yeah, yeah, I am. I think I am part of the alumni company also. Okay, you know, also. Yes, I th- even Tarun joined the community. I guess uh, last week, if I'm not wrong. Right. Yes. Right. 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 It's been. Uh, it was a wonderful chat, Tarun. Honestly, I believe uh, you would be an inspiration to a lot of people who come from various different backgrounds. You know. a uh, non tech uh, you are you have done your graduation in biology that can be an inspiration <laughs> to so many people like there are people who have done btech and in mechanical or some other domain and they believe can i be- become a developer or not so tarun if any aspiring developer is watching this video right now and is making this decision that should i or should i not uh, you know pursue my career in tech and can i become a developer or not what would be your message to him or her definitely i mean uh, if you have the will if you want to go for that if you like that field then definitely you can i mean there is a lot of company who are you know trying to find better resources i mean company are lacking resources in the technical field right now you know so in the it industry definitely i mean uh, anyone who have the enough skill and who do enough hard work you know they can be there right in fact i i have the same uh, opinion here that there are a lot of companies there are a lot of job opportunities what the current uh, market lacks right now is rockstar developers who would be able to you know work there so yeah i think that's it from my end thank you tarun so much for joining it is a saturday evening and i have taken your time i'm really sorry for that <laughs> uh, yeah it's fine actually 
uh, in the gurugram actually uh, the saturday and sunday is normally uh, day off so it's you a working are, culture here yeah. we are working today that's how like <laughs> developer it's fine so okay. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Thank you so much, Tarun, for joining in. Uh, we will be continuing our chat in our Slack community, and we will be connected yeah. there. And uh, thank you, anyone who is watching this video. I hope you like this video, and you are uh, you your your queries have been addressed by me and Tarun. See you later. Till then, bye. Okay. Thank you.